Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, the temperatures across the state of Texas still hanging on to those mid 80s, even into those low 90s, 90 degrees in Midland, 91 in Waco. Same with San Antonio sitting at 91 degrees as those temperatures slowly kind of cool back down. We'll still hang on to those hot temperatures and that high pressure for the next couple of days. But could see some big changes in towards the long term pattern. What we can expect for weather here in the state of Texas. We did see a few showers further off towards the north, up in towards the Abilene area and Sweetwater. Those have since dissipated and are still hanging on to some of that cloud coverage into the northeastern parts of the Concho Valley, out towards maybe areas like Coleman, uh, far west, uh, far northeastern parts. Still seeing some of those lingering showers. Those have mostly since weakened, uh, losing that daytime heating. So not as much rain as we saw last night. We're going to get even drier tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, don't expect expect any showers for this time, but we will start to see a bit of a change going in towards next week. We did pick up some heavy rain with those storms. Did, took, took a very similar path. It came in from the north, kind of drifted off towards the south, but really kind of dumped most of that rain in towards Tom Green County, just to the south and southeast of San Angelo. We picked up some very beneficial rain. Uh, better rain chances still picking up for us next week. Right now, temperatures cooling off into those mid-80s, 85 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo. Dew points into those uh, lower 70s, so still on the humid side a little bit higher and humid across the area so sticky out there with those higher dew points that puts our humidity value at 65 percent light winds out of the east that's going to likely continue as we go into the evening hours temperatures cooling off across the Concho Valley still into those mid to low 90s 90 degrees in Mason 91 for Brady Eden and Menard and Junction seeing a pocket of those 91s and then a little a couple spots hitting into those 80s that's more off towards the north and west again those heat advisories that's going to continue for tomorrow so again uh, those overnight lows break it up but tomorrow we'll be right back into the triple digits as temperatures heat up especially for our north and eastern parts of the Concho Valley that's where you can see those temperatures run up to 103 even 105 degree range uh, a little bit cooler for the further towards the south and east south and western parts of the Concho Valley again not expecting those temperatures to get that high for tonight again the straight shower for the most part staying out into the Coleman area temperatures cooling down into those mid 70s and then for tomorrow 104 degrees those heat advisories in place. Mostly clear skies. Could see one or two passing clouds. Uh, that's going to be about it with the southerly winds staying out of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. That high pressure that again has been just dominant the entire summer keeping those hot and dry conditions. That's going to hang on for a few more days off towards the west. Uh, the bullseye of it if you will really kind of in towards uh, Albuquerque in towards New Mexico. That starts to slide off towards the west as we get in towards the weekend. So we'll see a little bit of an introduction in some of those rain chances that cloud coverage and those cooler temperatures temperatures by the beginning of next week. Well, we see a big push of some cool air working its way in from the north. That's going to drop those temperatures even further back down into those mid to lower 90s for afternoon highs. Could even see a couple spots top out into those upper 80s. And again, with that, we'll see the increase in those rain chances across the area. Quiet conditions again, not expecting this rain through the rest of this week. But by the weekend, start to see one or two pop up showers uh, again for us on Saturday going in towards Sunday. Very similar one or two showers possible, but by Monday, that's when the rain chances really start to kind of ramp up. We'll see that cold front push in from the north, widespread rain with it. So we'll see some very beneficial rain as the system really kind of arrives in on Tuesday. Again, that's going to be, I think, the best chance of seeing some of that really beneficial rain across the area. And that's going to linger kind of going in towards your Wednesday as well. So looking at the week ahead, the first part, uh, not expecting a whole lot of rain. It really won't be until next week. We start to run up those rain chances. That's going to be always welcomed, not just for the state of Texas, uh, but for here in the Concho Valley. The, looking at the end of your seven-day forecast, again, looking at that six to ten-day temperature outlook, we'll see that push of cool air. That's going to work its way in towards Texas. That sees us pull those temperatures back down to at least closer to average and we will see those rain chances kind of pick up again towards the end of the seven day forecast. So again, the next couple of days near record temperatures could see a record broken both Friday as well as Saturday. Then the rain chances really pick up with temperatures cooling back down into the 90s and 80s by next week.